I will say we are the only people in the world that manufacture houses made of coffee. <laughs> this is the log of the future. This is a do-it-yourself house. Okay, my, my name is Alejandro Franco, a CEO of Woodpecker, designs, manufactures, and builds different kinds of construction. We are located in Bogota, Colombia, South America. Our company was founded 10 years ago. Our owner is a well-known construction company in Colombia with more than 40 years of experience. Woodpecker is owned by Maeco, which, which is a construction company. Maeco helped us with building our kits and our models. Uh, we have built around 3,000 houses in Colombia, most of them in very isolated places or rural areas where traditional construction materials like bricks or cement or concrete cannot go. This tiny house, which is a 23 square meters size house. Okay, this is a two-story tiny house. Our market is social infrastructure. We have built around 3,000 houses in Colombia. Manufacture around 300 houses per month. We manufacture here. This is our showroom. Our factory is just behind the, the showroom. Most of the houses are uh, donated by the government. User has to, to pay is just for the utilities. They give them the house completely furnished and uh, ready to, to be used. Most of our customers are NGOs, like the o, OEI. You just need around two to three people to, to build the house. We provide each of them with a manual. Basic, you just need a screwdriver and a hammer, and that's it. It's very, like, kind of, kind of Swiss and European style. Most of the solutions you see right now in the market, they look like boxes. It's something different, more like a real house. This is, they are strong and they are rigid. This unit is like one year old. We have sold around 30 houses of this one. This one has 23 square meters. We have 3.5 meters width by 4.5 meters length. House is around five meters. If you can see inside a main room in the second floor for two people. And we have another bed here in the first floor for another two people. For a total of four people, we have a kitchen here. We have a private bathroom. All the appliances, all, all the appliances you see here, they come, they are, have a small sign. They are not included with the house. Uh, so you have to buy them separately. What we include is the frame, the walls, the windows, doors, the roofing system. So you have the, the complete house with the, without the appliances. I will start with the material. All the house and all the products we have are made of the WPC, wood plastic composite, made of natural fiber and polymer. For the fiber, we use coffee husk, and for the polymer, we use rigid PVC. All materials are recycled. Material is green and eco-friendly. 60% polymer and 40% fiber. Fiber gives you the rigidity, the strength of the material, and the polymer gives you the durability of the material. We use extrusion process to make all the profiles that we use in this kind of construction. People only think of coffee as the coffee bean, but you're talking about like... And it's, the, it's just the cover of the, of the grain of the coffee. We are the, the only people in the world that manufacture houses and social infrastructure made of coffee. <laughs> the coffee bean itself is sheltered by the same product that you end up using for housing. That's right, that's right. It's interesting because the coffee husk, people used to burn it or throw it away. So now we are using it for social purposes. The same happened with plastic with rigid PVC. Mm. They used to, to throw it away. We are collecting it to, to use it here. This is the profile we use for, for walls. It's a tongue, tongue and groove system. So we, we don't mix anything in, in place. We, we just connect the pieces. The system is, is it's called uh, interlocking system. And you stack one profile on top of another and you see it? Yep. And then you overlap both profiles at the corners. Mm. 
if you see, yeah. we make it like a notch at the end of the profiles with a special machinery and you put them like this. You don't need any kind of glue. You don't mix anything inside. Just connect the pieces like a Lego. It's waterproof. The only recommendation is that you have to put the tongue uh, up, up water. It's waterproof. You don't need any glue here. All the notches, all the notches are made in our factory. The same system like log cabins instead of Maybe. using logs logs made of wood this is the log of the future with this material this is a fireproof no combustion you have finishing already you don't you don't need to paint it built for outdoor use it's light eight times less heavy than a traditional concrete system this is a splinter free so WPC is like the, the wood of the future. If you see it, it looks like a, like a wood and a kind of plastic, but it's the mix of both worlds. When you connect the pieces together, you make like a column resistant to earthquakes. When you have a big earthquake, split house dances. If you have any problem, this is falling apart. It will, it will not hurt you. Our big constraint is wind. This is so light, so you have to attach the all the structure to the foundation very well in order to prevent the wind. At the end of the profiles, you have this small cap made of PVC, which gives you a nice finishing of the, of the construction. We have different colors and we combine them. If you see the, the walls are yellow in this house, the first for two rows are brown. People like that combination of colors. You have the dark coffee and then a latte, a latte finish. Uh, it smells a little bit of coffee. It's like the if latte you say, chalet. It's actually a latte chalet. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a good word. <laughs> this house weighs three tons, right? Uh, With floor and everything. 6,000 pounds. Uh, half of the weight is, is coffee. Uh, How many cups of coffee is that? <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of cups of coffee. Uh, if you see here the second floor, there is an option where you can expand this floor to the facade from 23 square meters to 31 square meters. It's a kind of flexible in case you want to expand the second floor. You have to take the roof away apart and then you put uh, the extra beams up to notches, to notches. So the beam has one notch uh, in the up and one notch uh, at the bottom. The locking uh, system, you, you, don't use, you don't use any screws. You don't need the screws. Yeah. The windows are connected. We have a special profile pro for windows, PVC roof tiles. Most of them are white. We like white color because of the it prevents the house to be so hot. It's a nice color. The beams and all the connections are made with our WPC material. We have uh, three layers in each roofing tile. Virgin PVC, the carbon fiber, thermal and acoustic properties. If you see inside the profile is hollow. Air, Can you see air. it? Space is very important. And for uh, electrical installations. We built these kind of constructions in cold and hot weather. What we change is the architectural design. If you go to hot weather, we make the house higher. We use special windows, small windows to make airflow inside. It. There was a hurricane like three years ago called Hugo. Those houses supported. So our system has been proof and it's strong. It's strong. Colombia. There is a building uh, code standard is NSR10, uh, which is used for earthquakes, earthquakes, but at the same time, you have to calculate the, the weight of the roofing. This system has around five kilograms per square meter. That's the weight of this roofing tile. Is the floor made out of the same material? Exactly. We have the same material for all the house and the floor wo works like a traditional decking system. You put the, the, the window profile here and then you attach the window. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite easy. You have to ask us before. Sometimes it uh, affects the structure of the house. So yeah. you, have, uh, you have a nice view.
most of our customers have been millennials. We sell the kit with all the pieces together. Some people build the house by themselves. Others provide them with the installation cost, which we have our own people for. Uh, well, what they want to have first is, the, is their house. Then the other things, they, sometimes they, have, they don't have the money for the appliances, but they want the, what, what they want really fast is the house. Self-improved. Um, this is a do-it-yourself house. It comes with a manual, a Lego system. Let's go yeah, outside. Let's check out the Can you see the beams? These are the four beams we use for the second floor. The foundation, wow. we use small stilt. Can you see the stilt? It's made of WPC2. Yeah, you, you put it on the soil, you make a hole on the earth. Yeah. You put this stilt and then you, you cover with the, with soil. The, the stilt has a a small notch. Can you see this notch? Yeah. This notch. And this notch supports the beams for the floor. To make it uh, sturdy enough to withstand hurricane force winds, how do you typically attach it? To the a screw attaching the steel to the first beam. Okay. This one doesn't have it because the wind here in Bogota is not strong. How do you level it? All of the steels are, are in different height. You see this one? Yeah. higher than, the, than that one. You just put more soil at the bottom. First step is you strength. have to put all the stilts at the same level. Yeah. And then you put the beams. You can move it to a different spot, let's say on the same site without disassembling it. But if you're going to transport it to a different city, you would disassemble it first. You have to disassemble. Everything comes with the kit. You see there is a profile for window and then you screw the aluminum window to the profile. I love the beam sticking out. It is very Swiss. Yes, you don't need to paint it. It's a low maintenance material. You, you clean this wall by using water and soap. It's strong. It, it sounds like, like wood, like, like a log. This is very strong. Very, very, very strong. All this house we have is around 10 years because it's the age we have in our company but the material is proven to last for more than 20 years, uh, 25 years because of the PVC in laboratory. You hear different uh, styles. Most of the ideas come directly from the customer. When you show a design, sometimes the customer says to you, I don't like two slopes, I prefer one, make windows bigger. And I will say most of the ideas come, come up from the customers. What, uh, what's the yeah. most innovative aspect? I will say the finishing. For social housing in Colombia, 90% of all the social houses are built without colors. We have, we have yellow here, it's brown, orange, cream, cream color. We, we use more earth colors. We don't use any chemical, we use ferric oxide, which, which are colors from the earth and coffee and recycle PVC. We try to make it green, to make it eco-friendly. What would you say has been the most misunderstood aspect? To explain people that they have to build the house without using screws. People are accustomed to using screws for everything. So when you explain that the interlocking system doesn't use any glue or screws, it's, it's difficult to convince. We are in the factory right now. So can you see that's another model? We have two-story building. These are different models of houses ready to be shipped. House being shipped. What, how big of a, how many pallets is that? Two to three pallets. Can you see this package? Like two pallets of this one. And in this section, we pre-assemble the house just to be sure that all the pieces fit together. Hmm. Uh, this is one of those. Oh, uh, interesting. How, frames. how many homes can you manufacture here? 300 uh, per month. I, I will show you our warehouse for coffee. This is the coffee. This warehouse, we have around 60 tons of coffee. Exportation coffee quality. So the less, the less, can you see this grain? It's a little burnt. The cleaner the coffee cost, the better for the process. It looks like oat, like yes. Quaker oat. Here you, we have the, some mills to pulverize the coffee. We make it powder. 
coffee powder. As far as sales reach, this could be shipped anywhere in the world. It could be shipped easily. We have the certifications to export. Uh, we have export some deck into the Caribbean, to, to Cuba, for some resorts over there, hotels. Yeah, we are ready to export. We are ready. We have the capacity. We have the product. Alejandro, thank you for the tour. You're welcome. No problem. The latte chalet. For Here coffee, you. you drink. The more housing you, yeah. you help with. <laughs> <laughs> That's right.